do a thing every Sunday on a player looking back to when they were a kid trying out for teams and stuff like that. Sure. I just want to ask you if you can remember the first time you had to try out for a team. How old were you? And uh, what was the experience like? First time I had to try out for a team. I can't remember if I tried out. I, I think I, I think there had to there must have been trials. I was seven years my first year of trial hockey. I think I was seven. Uh, I was playing for the Crystal Lake Leafs. Or no, it was the Schaumburg Kings. Schaumburg, the Schaumburg Kings. Um, you know, I was seven. And I don't. I really couldn't tell you much. I, I remember it was my first year of, uh, of organized hockey. I think the only time I skated before that was that birthday party. Yeah. And it was the first time I skated, and I know that I really liked it. So uh, I ended up playing for the Schaumburg Kings. And it was like a half hour drive from my house. And, uh, I'm trying to remember. It was. Uh, it was in this old dinky rink, real cold. It was connected to like a theme park, a roller coaster. Uh, I don't really remember much other than that. It was uh, you know, played. A, I ended up being named the captain. It was my first year of organized hockey. It was pretty funny. I, I really didn't know too much about what I was doing, but uh, it was a blast. I had a lot of fun, and uh, I guess it was just good for good for development. Other than that, I can't I can't really remember much. It was a long time ago. How about at the, the college level? Did you have to try out when you got there? Or? compete for anything when you got there? Uh, well, I came in on uh, college, not, you really didn't have to try out. Um, definitely had to compete they wanted for you a spot. Begin. Yeah, I was on a scholarship there, uh, like most of the other guys. And, uh, you know, I was recruited. Uh, I had to try out for uh, my team in juniors. Uh, in the USHL, I played for Cedar Rapids. And, uh, I, I didn't have a guaranteed spot going to there. And that's a whole long other story that I could get into. I was flying back and forth between graduation and trying in uh, Massachusetts and, and trying to make the team in Iowa, and I was flying back and forth to do that. So I ended up High working out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I uh, that ended up working out, and, and thank goodness because I, I was it's a really I have a really long long story of my career, what happened. So, uh, but the most recent I would say was, was the Cedar Rapids uh, trial. That was a, that was pretty much a make or break point in my career. How, was that nerve-wracking to go through that? Yeah, absolutely. It's. Uh, I was committed to a D3 college. I was going to play hockey and baseball uh, after high school. And I decided that I wasn't. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to try and play Division One hockey. And I pulled out for the Division Three offer right around graduation time. And uh, the last minute thing, got a tryout in Cedar Rapids. And I was flying back and forth between. Logan and O'Hare, and then I was making a three and a half hour drive to Cedar Rapids. So it was tough because you know we were doing so much travel, and then I was getting out of the car and trying to play games and compete for a spot on the team. So uh, that was a uh, that was an interesting time. It was pretty tough, but uh, glad it all worked out. When, when you look back at that time, trying out uh, at the junior level and going through what you did, and you compare it to your first time going to Pittsburgh's training camp, uh, was one tougher than the other? I guess they're they're both similar in, in their own way. Obviously, it's tougher because of the level that you know the NHL is at. And there's so many different guys competing for, for different spots, and everyone has their own little role and, and whatnot. But uh, at the time, you know, it was uh, it, it kind of felt like the same thing. I didn't really know, uh, you know what was going to happen going into it. You know, all I could do was just play my best and work hard and try to show off, you know, my assets. And uh, you know, fortunately, it worked out. Too well. Last thing I have for you is uh, your experience with Cedar Rapids and with Pittsburgh trying out at those levels. What advice would you have for a kid who's going to be going through a trial for the first time? Um, show up early, leave late. You know, be one of the hardest working guys there. You like to let your work ethic shine. Uh, you, know, you gotta, you gotta bring what you bring to the game. Don't try to be a player that you're not. You know, if you, if you bring speed, you gotta show your speed. If you know you're tough and you like to finish your checks, make sure you're doing that. You know, that, that's the biggest thing I would say is just bring what you bring it and bring your work ethic and compete. It's really going to stand out.